Hello, this is Ellie for edu for java and we're going to start a SQL tutorial number 4. The title of this tutorial is Register Selection. We are going to see the instruction select from and we are also going to see the WHERE class, clause. Before starting with this, let's talk about data definition language and data manipulation language. SQQ language is divided in two. Data Definition Language, DDL, and Data Manipulation Language, DML. The Data Definition Language defines the structures. What we saw in the last tutorial was uh, the following instructions. Create, alter, and drop. These were what we saw in the last tutorials. These are the definition instructions. Uh, they're called the DDL. What we're going to see now, uh, now and in the next tutorials, are the instructions select. And uh, following this, we'll see, uh, not in this one, but in another tutorial, insert, update, and delete. These are the data manipulation language, the so-called data manipulation language, the DML. OK, let's continue. Now we can see on the screen the structure or syntaxis of the SELECT instruction. SELECT, FIELDS LIST, FROM, TABLES LIST, WHERE, and THE CONDITION. Let's see what it means. After the word SELECT, you're going to write the names of the fields you want to see on the screen. After the word FROM, you're going to write the tables from which you would like to see the the data where the word were is a filter which we'll see afterwards in the next tutorials well not in the next tutorials in this one but a bit afterwards the condition is something which is fulfilled or not if we fulfill this condition here it would be included and if not the row or register would be filtered Okay, um, I would like to highlight that SQL is not case sensitive. What does this, this mean? If we write select in uppercase or lowercase, SQL language is not going to make a difference. Now uh, we're going to um, begin with an example select asterisk from edu.publisher. Here we say that from the table edu.publisher we're going to select asterisk fields. This means all of them. Press enter and as you can see here there are all the publishers we wrote in the past tutorial. Edu for Java and Edu. We can also see if we press, if we look for it, the other table. We can select all the register from books and we can see them in the table like this. Here you can see I added one. Android in 5 minutes. We had have in 21 days, SQL in 15 minutes and I added Android in 15 minutes. They all are written by Edu. I would could change the author, no? <laughs> All these things which I write in the console app, uh, I really insist with the console because it's really important that you understand and feel comfortable with, with a console. To give an example, last week we had to solve a problem in the database and we didn't have a graphic emulator. Thankfully, we were able to get to the console. Somebody was able to write SQL in the console. That was me. <laughs> and we were able to solve the problem. If uh, I hadn't known how to do it, nobody would have been able to do it. This can resolve the crisis. So um, I wanted to highlight that the console is really important for if any problems comes up. up. Okay, uh, let's continue. With this, we are now going to give up the console because everything we can do here, we can do it here too, in the graphic. 
and it's a lot nicer. Let's copy this here to execute these instructions. We come here and it executes and you can see it nicer. These are the two registers from the table publisher and these are from the table books. As we had seen, we can filter by um, column. It is important to know which is the field or column and which is the row or register. These are the columns or fields. If uh, we are talking just of one register, it is better to call it field. ID books. Java in 21 days is the um, name of the field. Title of the first uh, register. Here it is, the title. Okay, this is the first register. Now this is the second row or register. This here is going to filter the columns which we're going to see. Imagine we don't want to see the iBooks or the ID publisher. We can then um, write the title, author and the code ISBN from edu books. We here we write it here and we execute. And we see that we can only set the fields we choose. Here they are, these are the fields we chose. We can filter the columns with the fields list after the word select. If we put asterisk, all the columns would be shown. We, okay, that's okay, we select. We can also order anything we want. There's another close, order by, and we put the field we want to order. Here we're going to show everyone, every one of them by order by the title. We can see that the Android is first even if it had number three afterwards comes Java in 20 days and SQL. They are ordered alphabetically by title. Let's see now the where clause. As we said it is used to filter. Here we went in to select all the registers from the book table where the ID publisher is number one. I only want to see these two. I want the last one not to be seen. We execute and you can see we only get the register with ID publisher number one. Let's see it here, yes. If I change and put two, we execute and we are only going to see the other one. This condition is evaluated for each of the rows. The row which is false for this condition doesn't appear. When I write ID Publisher 2, number 1 is false, number 3 is false and we only see, that's what we only see, number 2. Let's make this SQL instruction a bit more complicated now. Making where ID Publisher 1 and author edu. We execute and we get the books with ID Publisher 1 and author, author Edu. It doesn't make sense here when all the books are written by Edu. We could change it for example for Ellie. Let's change this for Ellie. Okay. Apply changes and finish. We go back to SQL query, execute and now we only get one with edu. If we delete the pass, the part where we filter by the author and execute, there are two of them. Okay, as you can see this filter can be made a lot more complicated. We'll see this in future tutorials. It can be very much more complicated. Well, uh, we've finished this tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye.